So besides anti-Semitic tweets, besides silence, and besides defunding the police, what will the left do about this rise in anti-Semitic crime? Dennis Prager joins me now. He's the founder and president of PragerU and a nationally syndicated radio talk show host and a very smart man who will enlighten us all on these issues. Dennis, why the silence from the left on this issue? You've uh, really analyzed it beautifully. Uh, it's, it's the wrong perpetrators. It's as simple as that. It's like uh, when I was uh, when I was in college, which was not uh, recently. I was taught this was at Columbia in the 1970s. I was taught that a black cannot be a racist, and I remember thinking that's that's impossible. I mean, it's simply impossible. I, I couldn't believe I heard that. But uh, every professor uh, who who addressed the issue said that. So the world of the left is a make-believe world, but there is one point that I would like to make that is extremely instructive and has not been noted. And that is that these attacks are on Jews and they're coming from uh, uh, various uh, Muslim uh, uh, extremists in the United States. Obviously not from all Muslims and I'm, I'm not even implying that. But I, people need to understand something they don't understand. The Middle East dispute is not over land. Israel is the size of New Jersey. It is smaller than El Salvador. There are 22 Arab states. There is a state with a majority of Palestinians called Jordan. The issue is not land, the issue is religion. And again, this is not what the left wants you to believe. They want you to believe it's over land. Right. No, it's not. Uh, the, uh, the, there is a big chunk of the Muslim world that would like to exterminate the Jewish state, beginning with, of course, Iran. That is why, if you look at the rhetoric, it's always F the Jews, F the Jews. In all of these attacks, it's never F the Israelis. It's always F the Jews. Right. You know, Dennis, a couple of points here. First of all, you're absolutely right. We opened the show tonight talking about the idea that Lori Lightfoot's policies in Chicago are blatantly racist. But there's this belief out there that because she is black, she's in, it's impossible for her to be racist, that only white people can be racist. And most sane people realize racism is an individual sin that anyone can commit. But what you're saying that is so fascinating right now in understanding the issue between not just Israel and Palestine, but the Jewish people, is that when you see videos like the ones we're playing, where people are driving down 42nd Street, the Diamond District here in New York City, and yelling something about Zionism to American Jews, they're not talking about Israel. They're talking about something else, aren't they? Well, they're talking about, yes, anti-Zionism anti as I, I it, well, it is. By the way, there's a very simple way to prove it. If the only country in the world you think does not have the right to exist is the only Jewish country in the world, then one has the right to infer that you have something against a Jewish state, but not any other state. Imagine somebody saying, you know, I love Italians. I'm not anti-Italian, right. but I don't think Italy has the right to exist. You would say, sir, I'm not an idiot. You hate Italy and you hate Italians. That's the way it works. If the only state that can't exist on earth is a Jewish state, you have something against the Jews. That's exactly right. If you have a problem with Jews in Israel, a problem with Jews in Jordan, a problem with Jews in Iran, if you have a problem with Jews in New York City, your issue is not about land. Your issue is about anti-Semitism. Dennis Prager, uh, thank exactly. you so much for your time tonight. Thank you.